and tech and um and marketing. That's my mom, bruh. Kill it. My mom's so cool. Anyway, what's cool is we're finally getting to this grand finals. Jules versus Carfo going with the Steve, the tried and true. Definitely a a character with not a lot of uh, a bad matchups. If anything, mostly even or winning. Um, this one, I don't know. I don't play Steve. See, so I'll play safe out there. But everybody seeing Jules is, of course, very, very adept at this character. You've seen it at uh, versus Dill. You've seen it versus uh, even Chip and Ray. So I definitely see. Dude, Jules kind of taking it, but Carflow, you've been seeing the. Never mind. Never mind. My fault. I'm sorry I spoke. Because as I was gonna say, you might be coming back. Oh, I'm actually, actually able to come back with that uh, long range, but I was gonna say, Carflow is really good at, at adapting on the fly and just really making moves into his own, uh, like we saw earlier against Dill. So, the biggest thing Jules gonna have in her disposal is, of course, that side B, that, uh, that minecart that gives her so many options to just. Ruin what Roy's really trying to do, just just enter your your personal space. And Jules does not want that whatsoever. A lot of nice That was kinda cool. It, yeah, you're not making that bad. That was kinda cool. Again, the blocks the Steve being one of the characters that actually made the game have to be kind of like remade kind of when he got uh, into the we got added to the game, um, programming wise. Allow it, that means that his blocks is one, is one of those things because now there are new tech abilities that you have to really account for, and Jill, uh, Jules just didn't account for it. I don't even think it was like about that point anyway. So, back into the game at hand. Pan table is, of course, there. We got the forward throw as well with the piston. TNT set up, and you saw the dash mask start to come out, but thankfully that get up attack is going to be stuffing out Jules's option there. You're not seeing too many of these blocks in front of Jewel. Now they're kind of going behind her. Uh, I think to kind of save her from the side B, uh, I, I, uh, the side B threat that Roy kind of has on all the characters. Like that. Oh my god. <laughs> mm, try and get the, the fishing rod grab. And that's a humongous punish off the up B. It, I think Carpo was definitely trying to grab uh, Jewels into that up B. But a little bit uh, misspaced on it. All right, nice bait out from Carflow. Knowing they just dropped down back, uh, dropped down forever, just like hello. Either way, here we go. Minecart again. <laughs> Minecart coming in clutch for Jules, getting a really easy entrance into his fast-paced character that Carflow kind of just plays. Okay, down throw into the up air, but I think that I think that block actually saved Jules. Like hello. Again, new tech opportunities that Jules has at her disposal that she's definitely aware about. And that's kind of the thing that the entire rest of the cast, all the, like, the casters, not casters, the entire competition has to kind of work around as well. But Jules, look at the, look at these resources, or lack thereof. There's only one stone block, but it doesn't matter because magma blocks are not a resource. They are a smash attack. And the man do be winning. And that's just how it is. That's just how the dirt block crumbles. I don't know how to tell you. Definitely gonna be seeing Carfo think a little bit here, trying to see where we're going to go, and I think we're going back right back to PS2. Uh, I mean, yeah, he could. Give Steve a lot of space to mine, but at the same time, kind of picking stages against Steve is really difficult. He'd be really aware of the percentages that Steve does have uh, for resources on those stages, because they are different. So right back to PS2, like I said, we're coming right back to it. That Pokeball is coming back in the face. And again, we're going right into these, uh, I'm about to say dirt block. These wood block combos, but unfortunately because we are a fast follower, Roy is definitely going to be getting out of those pretty easily with Carfo's excellent SDI ability. Going right in with the Jair. Love the little dip down to avoid any kind of, uh, any kind of recovery option that Carfo is going to stuff out of Jewels. The my car beating out the side B didn't think I would ever see it, but definitely gonna be taking one of the new options that Jules has at their disposal that side. That, that's my car so good. Yeah, Jules is gonna have to start mining uh, at least for some diamond, and there we go. Carful running into the trick that all Steve's do. Run into the blocks and have a forest match that's so free, but so does Carful has a uh, Epto is super good for him. But unfortunately. My cards made of steel, made of iron, are really, really strong. You guys know that? They're really, really strong. 
As you can see, Jules does have Diamond at her disposal. Definitely gonna be taking Carful all the way out to the side of the stage right there. And will we be able to mine? We should be able to really soon. Try and get a, uh, a back air right there. Oh, excellent attack from Carflow. And going with a high recovery and weaving right through the option that Carflow is going there. But going there, but Carflow is able to really just clean right up. And not only for 44% on Carflow, is it that bad against Steve? Um, definitely want some more percentage on Jewels in order to see more of an even game here. And just like this, should be seeing in a few short moments. Absolutely will be doing so. And even more, 50% is nothing to scoff at. And only counting game, being able to actually stuff out these uh, these minecart attempts and slowly drain Jules' iron as well uh, while we're at it. Waiting for a little bit of mash there, but you got it. This is definitely going to be scary. We do have minecart, uh, not minecart, we have diamond tools at our disposal here. Meaning everything's a lot stronger, not necessarily a lot faster. She was expending a lot of iron here, not really liking these uh these expendable items that she's using right now, like Anvil and, and Minecart a little too often, especially that Anvil that hasn't really connected too much. It's only been sending her for these really bad positioning, it's just like that. Literally sat on a pedestal for that. Twice. Said so we got we, we I think we gotta drop these uh these anvil attempts, but I don't think Carfor's gonna be able to come back. Oh absolutely will. Trying to get the less trump, but unable to work off of it. And what can we see here? Like, <laughs> grabbing Carpa right out of the down air as well. Stone tools at our disposal. Carpa doing an excellent job just stuffing out these uh these mine cards as best as he can with that with uh Roy's fair. It's been working so well for him so far, and I think we're gonna continue to see that. And finally, gain the trade in favor of Jewels. Finally getting that stock away from Carpa. Excellent parry on the uh, nair. Let's see, let's see, excellent. Corpo's kind of tracking where Jules is trying to go with that Elytra, going with a little bit of a dip with the Elytra. Corpo popping, popping up, getting a little bit scared there. We're traveling a little too far with that sword. All right, going with the back throw, like, you know, down throw, trying to get the upper connection, but why is he jumping out of that range? We have no tools, we have one R at our disposal. We're going a little bit too low with that Elytra. We're shooting right through that, uh, that side beat. We're even percent we have diamond at our disposal as well. That's easy for a diamond backer to really take it, I believe, at this percentage. But what can we see here? Elytra should be able to bring it back, yes. And even the little bit of up beat from Carpo is mean enough, but... Oh! Steve is made of blocks. Steve is made of blocks. What can we see here? Should be seeing Carpo coming in. We need to be a little more patient. You're at the, you are at the advantage. You can kind of run the clock a little bit. Be a little more patient here. Jules playing a lot of unsafe options. She needs to build some more blocks in order to kind of get some more resources. And that was a really unsafe force. But even the side, we not taking it right from the middle of the stage. Oh, Jules is stuck here. Jules, there's so much pressure that Carpo's putting on Jules right now. And they're sending Jules off into the air. Electra beating out the recovery. There's no way. Oh, okay. I got scared. Okay. Carpo definitely living that. I forgot the percentage of swift, so Carpo definitely has a lot of options to cover for him. These, these down air, uh, these down smashes are not working on these on this TNT that Jules is waiting for. Look at no, no resources whatsoever. Just the reinforced my cart. A little bit of iron for just for your troubles. Stop it. Oh, going to the, the fourth throw. Okay. Right down throw. Oh, we need to stop doing that. You're good. You're good. Up throw, not taking it. Jules is going to be living a little bit longer, but can we stop with the fishing rod? Stop! We need to start mining. We need to do something. I don't even think she has a... Stop it. She's been... Stop. Jules? Jules, the reason you died is a fishing rod. I think she was just baiting him out as much as she can because she knew that Carpo was going to try to jump in as soon as she used the fishing rod. I, I really enjoyed like, uh, Carflow's face. It was like the, it was just like really. Yeah, she did one, two. Oh, there was two before that too. She did two of them. At t Yo, yeah, I. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Oh, oh that's my perfect. God. Jules threw out phenomenal player. Threw out Fishy Rod four times. Fishy Rod? Fishy Rod. Fishy Rod. She threw out the Fishing Rod four times. What a, what a wonderful clip that was. What a, what a wonderful world we live in, truly. What a wonderful oh. clip. Excellent from, from Carflow. Getting this to a game three. 
and uh, delaying me from going home any earlier than I wanted to. So, my poor dog. He's alright. <laughs> bork, bork. Just uh, bring, bring your dog next time. I would love to, actually. I thought about that before. He's so old and f smelly and small, but that first stock going right across only 61%. I'm looking at the possible start of a reset here. Which is really scary to think about, and I'm not gonna manifest it. But Carlo is manifesting this win right here, no only 61%, almost lapping in percentage, and now we are lapped and ready, trying to get a really deep uh, early electric kill as well. But Jules has not been able to do anything. This is what Carlo wants to do the entire time. As Roy, Roy being up in Enderman's face the entire time is what's going to be making this matchup a little more digestible for Carlo even in the first place. Love the uh, the the up air, the up angled one. Oh, 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 ew. I like when C just stays in the minecart for a really long time and he's just like riding all the way through the stage. Like, okay. God ah, damn. Do you think if Carflow wins uh, this set that we'll see a different character from Jules? I don't know. Because the other character has is Min Min, and Min Min might do really well, but again, if Carflow is really up close and personal to Min Min, she kind of like folds. Because we it saw Jules was missing a lot of her. Um, a lot of her connections with the ramp, with the uh, with the dragon head and the ball. Oh god, I'm so bad. I do, uh, ra um, it's ram ram. It's dragon head. Megawatt. Megawatt. megawatt thank yeah. you. She uh, kept missing those those connections with like edge guarding and things like that, which would be really good against Roy. But if she's missing them consistently, I don't think she would. Also, do uh, any better. Just, just real quick, we will refer to the dragon arm as Trogdor. Trogdor. Because she has the beefy arm. Uh, Trogdor? Yeah, it's before your time. But yeah, it is. Just, Sorry. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> just know that that's Trogdor. Um, if you at least have I mean, Falcor, I, I feel I like Min Min probably... Jesus Christ. Okay, never I mind. We're even. Yeah, I, I feel like uh, if we do see a swap, I think Min would be pretty good versus Roy. Oh, yeah. Be, like, Min Min would be better just because of uh, yeah. the, the range she has over him. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh -oh. It's just according to how Jules wants to play, and she's going to be playing a little bit unsafe like this. I don't know. Oh, oh. Oh, look at look at Kafo in the corner. Gameplay, gameplay. Game. You are. I. Yeah. I don't want to see a replay of that. I don't want. Can you can you start from the third we're stock gonna, and down? Oh my god, we're going right from the last stock. We're we're just gonna we're gonna. No, can we? No, but look at Carflow. Look at Carflow trying his best to SDI out of it. Look at this. He is mashing every option he has, and nothing. It's diamond. I don't. You can't SDI out of diamond, right? Oh, and yeah, he wasn't doing. Yeah. Even so, this shouldn't work. This should. That's all I'm saying. It shouldn't work. He died. Carflow died at zero percent. Carful was it actually zero. at zero? I think it was. No. Oh yes. my god, it was at zero. <laughs> Carfo got zero to death. Three. Jules, real, four, uh, Enderman really being like, making my way five, downtown. <laughs> six. <laughs> god. Into bro. the down air. I'm sorry, forward air. Seven. Into four <laughs> smash. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> That's the equivalent of the Kazia like, 10 hit combo. Oh my god. But it's literally just pressing A and going my I, Pressing I, A and going forward. I can't believe that. Carflow, Carflow, um, I already issued one apology. I forgot to who. Oh, to Dill. From the same set. What? I issued an apology to Dill for how oh. she died oh. twice. I got issued one for Carflow as well. Everyone, L, uh, can I get an F in the chat for Carflow? Because that was can atrocious. Can someone, yeah, just, just someone check on post him. that clip and then just put the song. Uh, I forget the name of the song, but you know. Making my way down. The town, yeah, walking fast. Yeah, is, exactly. is it one? I, I, I really. It's the one in, 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 in the white chicks. I forget. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot the name of it. But yeah, uh, he. he just in the stream. A thousand miles. Yeah. It's in the stream. <laughs> Here's Zeno Saga. <laughs> Extra large part six, I guess. Saturday, March 4th. That's in three weeks, I want to say. Yep. Uh, very same spot you see these weeklies. You see very same spot that Jules comes. Uh. So, go sign up now. We have doubles. We have singles. $10 each uh, and $10 venue. So, if you're doing all three events, that is $30. I'm sorry. Yeah, $30. Um, uh, Pre-reg because yeah. guess what? I'm sorry, it's twenty five dollars because five yeah. dollars per person. Pre-reg because if you don't, if you sign on, if you sign up day of, it's fifteen dollars venue and that's gross. So sign in, uh, pre-reg as soon as possible because pre-regging is really good. As you saw from uh, collision capping, everyone's like, oh my money. So next things. Uh, Speaking of collision, that is the week before uh, collision. So yeah. trying to get that last. You know how there's a pre-local? Like there's a 
It's a pre-monthly. It's a pre-monthly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, also, speaking of pre-everything, bombs coming in every single Monday. Um, only six-hour venue, four-dollar entry. It's a straight twenty sixty-four player cap. There are no pools whatsoever. It is straight up. You straight are a quant bracket. stream. You will see all your vods on uh, Twitch.tv forward slash House of Two Thousand or on YouTube, where vods are uploaded daily, not daily, instantly. Uh, now with Spectrum Wi-Fi. <laughs> no, not not uh, Verizon five uh, G. Verizon five G yeah, is yeah. better than Spectrum at Ethernet. I'm, it's yeah, incredible. It's actually. It's such a, a common Spectrum L. Common honest. Spectrum L in the chat because Spectrum actually, actually sucks. But you know what doesn't suck? Um, besides the fact that you can't follow us on Twitter, you can follow them on Facebook, Twitch, and YouTube where Vaza uploaded yeah. as soon as possible by new Verizon 5G technology. <laughs> Not very new, but new technology. Um, so, so go support House. Uh, please. They're literally like the best. Like I'll, I will intervene yeah. if y'all uh, don't. Please subscribe. Uh, it helps a lot. Uh, so yeah, hit that mm -hmm. subscribe button, and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys actually tomorrow for an HDR tournament. Yes! Oh, really quick, Illumination, HDR tournament, new here at Xeno. I believe it starts at 6 o'clock or 7 o'clock? 7. Yeah, 7 o'clock, HDR bracket. bracket. Hi, Dill. Say hi. <laughs> Come on, Yay, Dill! Dill's Yay. putting away Big the cameras. Dill fans. So, HDR bracket tomorrow here at Xeno Weekly, uh, Xeno Zero, 7 o'clock, start time. <laughs> Uh, we got deal. like 12 setups. Like we have a lot of. If, setups. This, if this event could grow anywhere, it could grow here. We got a lot of setups. If we can actually support big locals, please. If you want to do something with HDR, please just come out. You know, like try yeah. state whatever. Just just come by. Come we're, by. We're trying to do it every Thursday, yeah. and that's it. I'm tired. Right. Okay. Goodbye. Goodbye. Everybody.